This is where I was the first night when I was homeless. And nighttime is a little bit more scary, like really, really scary, because it's different type of people come out at night. I was scared of being jumped. I was scared of them taking my belongings, my money. My mind was just all messed up. I didn't know what to do. I was very afraid, didn't know what was going to happen, didn't know where I was going to go or how I would go about getting help. I was totally lost. But I didn't want no one to know I was lost and didn't want no one to know I was homeless because I didn't want no one to know that I was homeless and take advantage of me. Before I became homeless, I was, um, I was a project manager in printing and publishing and a color specialist. And I have an undergraduate degree in art and a master's degree in printing with a concentration in electronic publishing. But I was also very symptomatic and um, I was self-medicating. I was not getting the proper care, psychiatric care, or therapeutic care, or the proper supports. So unfortunately, I was in a, I was a, a, a rolling down a hill towards a brick wall, and unfortunately, experienced an extreme trauma and everything shattered. Um, I was a working class person, working 40 to 80 hours a week, like uh, most people, surviving. Uh, working in the operating room, I'm a surgical tech. Um, I think I'm a professional working. Um, but I was a traveler and issues happened and um, I was working per diem, so of course it wasn't enough for me to support myself. And that's how I ended up homeless. The political situation in my country uh, has been very awful. There is no gasoline, there is no food on the supermarket, and I came here to have a new life with my son. And I came here to, to reach out some shelter because I don't have more, enough money to support my son and me. And uh, the shelter received me, and I, I convert in homeless person at that time. Being homeless makes you feel pretty worthless. It, um, it depletes you of being yourself. It just, it takes everything from you. It wipes you, it wipes you out. Being homeless breaks you, it breaks you. It takes you to the bottom. Being homeless takes everything away from you. Well, before coming homeless, I was, I never had been homeless a day in my life. And before I was homeless, I was like in school and just um, trying to start a new job or get a new job or just trying to focus on myself to do good and better things for me and my children, my grandkids. The people that's out there are not homeless or that old. Some people are homeless, like I said, because of like a job, they might have had, got their section eight taken like I did, or they could have got kicked out of their house. It's all kind of reasons why they could end up homeless. I think that what people don't understand about people that are, that are homeless is a lot of them make the assumption that they're all uneducated, that they're all out there begging, that they're all trying to scam you and steal from you and are all really unethical individuals. If I had the worst enemy in the world, I would not wish my enemy to be homeless. It's an awful thing. It's a very terrible, terrible thing. Put your own self in that situation. Like, say if you got up from wherever you're sitting now, and you get to leave out of this building, and you have nowhere to go, what would you think? You have no family you could go to, no friends you could go to. What would you do? What would you do? How would you feel? 
I was calling everywhere to try to get better shelter and someone to help me with my situation. And I ended up calling the woman's place and I spoke to a lady named Sarah. And she ended up being my advocate. And I remember the first day I came in and I spoke to her and I was telling her everything, how my life had just turned upside down. And when you have um, dyslexia, it's, it's a hard situation. And she spoke to me with calm words and she was like, don't worry, we're going to try to help you. And then she was like, just go out and eat and and everything and we're going to work on stuff. So I went and ate. The food was really great, just like she said. Really, really good, too. And I let them know that. <laughs> and But she did help me with all my paperwork. And then um, she talked to the staff at the woman's place and everything just stopped falling into place once I, I got there. And I was very happy that I did call that place. And I'm very, very, oh my God, very happy that I did come there. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't let myself stop me from coming here. Yeah. I remember the first time I came to Women's Lunch Place and um, we would come and they would serve us on plates, which I thought was just the most amazing thing. And I made a lot of friends, people were friendly, and I found immediate resources that were just all over. If you don't have home, find it at Woman Place. Because you feel they're like very comfortable, very confident, very appreciate, and um, like me, I, I feel women play like my home. Women's Lunch Place is a wonderful place for women to go. You get a sense of humanity at Women's Lunch Place that you don't get anywhere else. It's about humanity. The Women's Lunch Place where you could go in the morning, they open at seven o'clock, and you could go in there and have some hot tea or coffee. They have great breakfast. And it's um, a place you can go in there, you can take showers, and you can get um, some peace just sitting there. You can talk to a lot of other ladies and you can find out a lot of great things. And you can go in there and you can get the things that you need. That's the main thing. You can get what you need. You know, you can get a lot of stuff that you need in there, especially being a woman, you know. And they don't let you go out of there hungry. You don't be hungry when you be too full, a matter of fact. And you get to take food home. And you get to take, um, you know, your face towels and some soap and clean socks and clean underclothes. Get back on your feet, get housing, do the things that you need. They even help you if you want help with educational goals. They have classes. They're just good people. I'm treated like a human being here. And not to mention the lunch is good. <laughs> I mean, I hate to be a, you know, throw, toss that in there, but the food here at Women's Lunch Place, I mean, have you had the lunch? Oh my goodness, you guys don't know how much y'all helped me to change my life and help me every day to be able to fight my battle being homeless. I was able to talk to you guys and tell you how I really felt and what I really need, and you guys really did it. Not just say, oh, we'll see about that. No, it wasn't none of that. You put your feet in it, and you did it for me. Uh, next, uh, December 2022, my son is going to graduate on Northeastern University. And uh, I think in, when he got the, the diploma, my my life will change because because it showed to be a very good future future for both of us. I'm gonna go from homeless to home ownership in the next five years. Since I've had a home, my whole world has changed. Everything has changed. It's in a completely different world. It's like getting up in the morning and knowing that you have hope. Having a hope is the most valuable thing in the world. It's a fantastic feeling. 
Women's Lunch Place is family. This is this is it. I come to Women's Lunch Place. I get the support I need here. Um, I get what I need. I feel comfortable here. I didn't feel lost anymore, and I felt love. And I didn't feel like someone was taking advantage of me. Women's Lunch Place is nothing but positivity. The, the people that work here, they, they have nothing but positive vibes around here. Yeah, this is like family to me. Women's Lunch Place is family to me. It is. get my diploma and help other people and do a lot of great things and hopefully one day work at the woman's place. Yes, in the kitchen.